Hello, today I and Dr. Akesh are here to talk on some topics related to sleep. Some of them are ideal time to sleep, what are the effects of caffeine and alcohol on sleep, what if the sleep gets disrupted and does dreaming mean better sleep? Hello guys, today we have Dr. Akesh Gupta who is based out of the US and he's a sleep expert so I'll hand over to you Dr. Akesh. Uh, hello guys, thank you for uh, asking me to be here. Uh, great to be here, Shivang. And I am a sleep specialist. Sometimes I have to explain what that means. Uh, and <laughs> I practice sleep medicine full time. Uh, my background is pulmonary and critical care, sleep medicine and sleep medicine. But for last 10 years, I've been just doing sleep medicine. So. Okay. That's how much demand there is. Yeah, so it's our pleasure to have you here. Let's just start with a basic question that everybody has. Is there a right time or a correct time to sleep? Uh, yes, so uh, everybody has a built-in clock, internal mm -hmm. clock, which mm -hmm. provides them an ideal time to sleep and ideal time to awake and for an ideal time for their peak performance. And we can give some average because all human clocks are similar, but there are individual differences. So there may be a different ideal time for you and a little bit different ideal time for me. And think of a bell-shaped curve and some, some people are on the more extremes and their ideal times are far farther from an average. So for most individuals, about 10 to 6 or 11 to 7 would be an ideal sleep time and this uh, our internal clock is aligned with sun and uh, uh, dark cycles light and dark cycles so dark is when we prefer to sleep and the quality of sleep is much better if it is aligned with our internal clock uh, you get more yes and is there any effect of caffeine or alcohol on our sleep? Uh, these things do have a big effect. So, caffeine is a stimulant. It stimulates your brain, keeps you awake. That's why most people use it. And it's a, a right amount of stimulation at right time is beneficial. Uh, any stimulation at wrong time impacts sleep. So caffeine is supposed to cause difficulties going to sleep, staying asleep uh, if taken late in the day or if somebody is consuming too much of it on a daily basis. Uh, alcohol has an opposite effect. It suppresses the brain mm -hmm. and often people try to use it as a sleeping pill. To try to go to sleep and it does work but the problem is as the alcohol wears off the brain is a little bit in a rebound mode it gets hyper aroused and uh, the wearing off of alcohol effect is not a smooth effect it's a wrong yeah. so your sleep gets disrupted so you, you could benefit from falling asleep a little faster, but the quality of sleep is not going to be great. And it's uh, worse with that. How to sleep again if it's disrupted again in the middle? Like, should should the person start to drink again? Uh, definitely not drink in the middle of night. <laughs> Go, waking up in the middle of night is... It, uh, how to go back to sleep is almost similar to how to go to sleep the first time mm. uh, when you go to bed and there's no magic so anybody looking for a magic pill stop right here okay. uh, but but there are two ways to think about this problem one is that uh, it's it's really short term and long term what can you do just that night but how would you have prepared for that night 
So mm. that's that's where you need to first individualize the problem, understand what the causes are in your particular case, and deal with that. And then there okay. are some general rules, relaxation techniques, and you know, uh, avoiding physical discomforts and all that. So those are more long term. You don't learn a relaxation technique at 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah. Uh, should have practiced it, mastered it, and it takes a long time. Uh, so those are. That's why I say it's not a magic pill. It's a, it's a, needs a lot of patience. But so, but in the middle of night, it will still happen. Not everybody is going to be an expert at relaxation. So what do you do in the middle of night? There are two or three simple things. to deal with the situation uh a uh, one step forward thing is pills most people want an easier solution and sleeping pills that have a shorter duration of action and we can get into that later but there are some some of those available you could take that do not take alcohol yeah so <laughs> the the other thing is setting the expectation because mm. that creates what is similar to performance anxiety mm. so if you if you put a lot of pressure on you that it's 2 am now and i need to be up at 6 am and i should get four more hours of sleep in this four hours you have created such an enormous performance pressure on you that that itself will generate plenty of anxiety plenty of adrenaline and will prevent you from getting any sleep uh it's very counterproductive so for sleep we say if you want to sleep try to stay awake if you try to sleep you can't so mm. the expectation should be okay if i i should try to rest and be satisfied with whatever sleep i get tonight be 30 minutes is better than 0 60 minutes is better than 30 Two hours is better than one. Do not have any expectation of getting four hours of sleep if you're woken up at two in the middle of night. So once you have let go of that expectation, it's much easier to sleep, and you'll get probably make the best out of the night. So, okay. yeah. And uh, is dreaming known as a better sleep, or is just something that happens to everybody? and mostly uh, i don't ever remember the dreams i have so is that common and is that bad or is it good uh so there's nothing bad or nothing good about it and maybe there is more importance to it but right now our science doesn't understand this enough what we do know is people who do not remember any dream can feel for rested so not remembering dreams doesn't mean you're not getting restful sleep or remembering dreams doesn't mean you're getting more restful sleep or worse sleep so so how rested you feel that's the main goal of sleep is to make you feel restored for rest of the day and uh, if that is happening Uh, your sleep is satisfactory uh, on the other hand bad dreams nightmares those can be more disruptive to sleep yeah which creating thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe and also hit the bell notification icon